the GCC region is our most important market and we're going to start as we come out of Covid reaching out to those really great customers that we haven't seen for two years and we're really looking forward to going into market and having those conversations. I think sustainability is a much bigger issue because it's got to be part of what we do as life. It's not related to Covid, it's related to how we actually give our children the future. And I think by, by making sure that everything we do, whether or not that's in packaging, whether or not that's our relationships with our suppliers, even in our warehouse, the fundamental focus is making sure that we as a business get to an absolute zero emissions policy so that we can look at our children and say, actually, we have solved this problem. If you'd have been there 20 years ago, we would have been issuing over 4 million plastic bags a year. Today, we don't issue any plastic bags. They're all recyclable paper. So everything we do is now absolutely sustainability and responsible. This is a continuous journey. This is one that even when we get to zero, we'll try and get to a different figure. So we were even yesterday talking about how can we create our own electricity? How can we not just buy credits, but actually through natural ways create electricity to be put into our systems to take away what we pull out of the system? So it, 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 it's, it's a way of life for us, not just, and it's a continuous journey. If we don't meet the needs of our customers and are sustainable, we won't have a future. So we, yes, QIA, of course, are pushing us, but the real push is that, that audience, particularly that Gen Z, who really want a business that's got all of the credentials. And luxury is this amazing opportunity, because when you're selling three t-shirts for £20, being sustainable is difficult. When you're selling the finest cashmere, where you can teach the shepherd how to look after his goats, you can train the vet to look after the goats, you can train the agronomist to make sure the ground is there, you can do that when you're selling a two and a half thousand pound Laura Piana jumper. And that's the great position we're in as a business. If you came into our store today with your Chanel handbag, we have built a facility that your Chanel handbag will be repaired and restored for life. So we're not talking about disposable luxury. We're talking about a bag for life. We're talking about investment pieces, which aren't thrown away when you've worn them once. Somebody will be wearing those amazing fashion pieces in five or 10 years time. And I think that's the important that we have with luxury fashion. And we have to differentiate it. Luxury fashion can do this. Fast fashion cannot.